Welcome to the Teske Manufacturing How to Hook Up a Trailer video. What you see before you here is a properly hooked up trailer to a tow vehicle. There's four main components, the lights, the coupler, the safety chain, and the safety clip pin. And we're going to go through each one of those in detail. But first there's a few assumptions that we have made based on your ability to tow a trailer. One being that the tow vehicle has the capacity and ability to tow a trailer with or without a load. Two, that there is a proper lighting hookup so that the trailer lights will function. Three, that the brakes on the tow vehicle will be adequate to stop both the vehicle and the trailer under load. And finally, that your receiver and ball hookup match with the trailer. The first item we need to talk about is the coupler. Now the coupler is obviously the most important aspect of the whole trailer hookup. It's where the physical towing takes place. The coupler mechanism must be free to operate up and down, must securely latch, and fit cleanly over the ball itself. This coupler does have an adjustment underneath the collar, and we describe that fully in the owner's packet with details on how to make adjustments should they be necessary. You should always check to be sure that there is no debris or obstructions in the receiver area so that you do get a proper fit and clasp. A safety pin clip is urged and is required to ensure that this coupler can't come loose down the road and it keeps the ball firmly in the coupler. The next item to talk about are the trailer lights. Properly functioning lights on a trailer are critical to safe trailer operation. Being able to see a trailer, being able to see the trailer brakes, see the trailer turn signals is critical to safe operation because oftentimes the load will prohibit the driver behind you from seeing your tail lights on the vehicle. The hookup is to the tow vehicle and like I said earlier, we assume you have a receiver for that. Most of our trailers have a flat four plug which will either hook up directly to the vehicle as in this case or you can purchase an adapter that will take a flat four and put it on a round plug. Those are available at most farm stores, home and garden stores, types of stores that would have trailers and accessories, automotive stores for example. So once you make sure that is in place it's good to go around and check the trailer. If you're by yourself you can turn on the signal lights or the warning flashers and your running lights. The only thing that's hard to do on your own is check the brake lights. Obviously if you have someone with you that's taken care of. The next feature we want to talk about are the safety chains. This is your backup and in the event that the coupler itself would fail for some reason. Safety chains are supposed to be hooked up independently so that if there's a failure on one side, the other side can still hold. Most manufacturers of quality trailers will have this set up. Another thing that's overlooked but is critical when hooking up safety chains is to have them cross. The reason for crossing the safety chains and securely fastening them to your tow vehicle is in the event the trailer hitch becomes undone, it will fall and rest on the safety chain instead of hitting the ground, causing you a lot more problems than you need at that point. That should give you time with the safety chains hanging onto the coupler to slow the vehicle down, take it out of traffic, and figure out what happened and affect repairs. The final element we want to talk about in trailer hookup are the receiver and the ball. Teske trailers use a two inch coupler, so you always want to have a two inch ball that has the load capacity of whatever your trailer's gross vehicle weight rating is. Some cases, depending on the height of the vehicle, you may want a drop down receiver, a flat receiver, or possibly even a receiver that takes it up to maintain some sort of level on the trailer. This is improper. This is improper for safe towing. The more level the trailer is, the easier it tows, 
the less apt it is to wobble. But a slight incline from front to back is fine. Proper inflation of the tires and proper torquing of lug nuts are critical to the safe operation of a trailer, especially under load. Tire pressure numbers are listed on the tire itself and varies by size and type of tire you have. The information on that tire also is listed on the tire and loading information sticker that is on your trailer. This tells you not only what the maximum pressure is under load, but also gives you an idea of what your cargo capacity is. Check the lug nut tightness frequently, as described on the warning labels and in your owner's manuals. In addition to proper tire inflation and adequate tightening of the lug nuts, proper lubrication of the hubs and bearings itself are critical to the safe operation of a trailer. Teske Manufacturing's trailers feature an easy lube access zerk whereby you can attach a grease gun to a zerk right under this rubber cap and pack your bearings with grease. Detailed instructions are available in the manuals in your consumer packet. Our trailers have a warning reminder of all the steps that should be followed at hookup. Once you have these things completed properly, along with the other items we spoke of, you're on your way to a safe, happy trailering experience.